In 2010, um, nations from around the world came to Nagoya um, and met at the Convention for Biological Diversity and they made this incredible commitment that to move from about 12% to 17% of all land on Earth and from about 2% to 10% of all marine areas on Earth to be under protection. Now, and, and what was brilliant about that agreement, it wasn't just any bits of land. What they said very categorically was that it was landscapes and seascapes which were important for biodiversity, important for ecological services for humans, um, and, and in areas that um, were ecologically representative. So it meant that areas didn't, weren't left off the plate if they weren't under threat right now, which is really a very profound set of targets. What's, what's sad about it is we're five years into that after making these commitments and nations aren't, are not simply not fulfilling their obligations. Nations are actually backtracking. We see Australia, Canada, the United States, New Zealand, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Uganda. The list goes on of nations who have not, have actually gone into protected areas and delisted them. They've, down, they've downsized them. They've actually allowed oil companies, mining companies, inside the, the very fabric of nature that you're trying to protect. I think this, this is an alarming um, outcome and something we, need to do, something we need to do something about. There are really three things that really come out of this paper. The first is protected areas work. They, when they're well managed, when they're well resourced, they are fantastic for saving threatened species, such as tigers, such as guanacos, such as jaguars, such as gorillas. We see time and time again in landscapes and seascapes around the world that if you effectively manage those areas for conservation, it works. But not only that, there's a double benefit that they, they provide a lot of great ecosystem services that are essential for local communities. So the first outcome is that protected areas, when well managed, are fantastic. They are the, the best tool in the toolkit for conservation. The second point though is that only 20% of all global protected areas are effectively managed. So of 160,000 protected areas in terrestrial landscapes and 10,000 in marine landscapes, only one in five actually have got given enough resources to actually achieve their goals in the first place. So even though the planet may be green in protected areas and may be blue in protected areas when you look at a map, a lot of those places are paper parks. They're not really doing what they, they, they set out to achieve. And that's a serious problem. But, and the third outcome though is there is hope. And the hope is this, that nations recognise there's a biodiversity crisis. Nations recognise that protected areas are a cornerstone action to stop that crisis from getting any worse. And they've made substantial commitments. All, all what we need to do is make sure that nations actually meet their commitments, meet, meet what they said on pieces of paper five years ago in Nagoya, and actually commit to actually ensuring that 17% of the earth on land is actually well protected and effectively resourced, and 10% of marine areas are, are effectively planned for and resourced. And you're gonna have a fantastic, significant outcome for biodiversity. The downside to all this is that if we don't do it, if we don't act now and we don't act in a way that's it's climate smart, it's future smart, we don't act in a way that recognises that 83% of the planet has already been seriously altered and that we've only got limited amount of land left and sea left to actually put these protected areas. If we don't act now, we won't have a second chance. Nations coming together in 2030 won't have the same opportunities they have now. Every nation would have established their, their development agenda and actually pushed on, you know, and, they, and, 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 th and there'll be no coming back from that. So now's the time to act.